He told me, block that awful phallic monstrosity with a beautiful concrete square. And if you happen to make a healthy profit for your trouble, then it's me moving in a serious way. So that's it. I'm campaigning to build a beautiful new cathedral in the old garden. Whatever, dude. Maybe you should be listening to the Electron Zone. I love a man trying to profit from religion. You should probably be American. Let's hit the phones. Yo, uh, oh, uh, hello? Yes, hello, your own chatterbox. What's that noise? My name's Lenny. I want to talk about shaving. Okay, what's the trouble? You got a weird rash? Uh, uh, there's no trouble. I just, I just can't stop. What? I love it. And I realize something's really important. If you shave downstairs, he looks a lot bigger. You know, if you remove the brush, Look what are you talking about? Yeah, man. Now I don't have to do surgery down there. I just thought I'd share that with a few people. Come on, Lazlo. Don't tell me you haven't thought about hey, it. Hey, where'd you get ideas like this? Like, my mom said, uh... All right. This show's going great. Uh, this is Chatterbox. What's ever on your mind, however big or small, just give me a call. Line three. When you shake downstairs, you look a lot bigger. Go away. Watch it. Please, stop calling the show. Anyone home? Mr. Tony? A moment, please. My husband is furious. He wonders how you come to know when and where to attack him so precisely. Unless he's a fool, he'll work it out soon enough. Perhaps we should help him. His men gossip like old women. Let's give them something to talk about. Where are we going? The opera. The opera? Me? You kidding? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Tony. Everyone loves the opera. If you bring my car around, we can collect your tuxedo. We don't have long. The show starts very soon. executive producer in the sky or he's gonna cancel your sitcom you need to say to yourself I'm a terrible person and I should die you know what before we go I just want to tell you a little story when life comes knocking you better answer the door do you think Remember I'm that? a bad or person be Mr. Tony? Well, princess I ain't exactly a well, saint that's all we have time no for. Next time, a saint wouldn't be much use to me family life with the help of my newest book 15 minutes to domestic heaven Oh, and if you're trying to lose weight, I got some great new weight loss tips from Columbia. Now, remember what my daddy said. Don't you tell nobody about me coming in here at... He has never loved me. He prefers the company of his men. Do you understand? When he finds out what you're doing, you know he's going to kill you. I do not care for life or death anymore. Only freedom. What a relaxing worldview. I I get on the internet a year ago, so I left my husband, and now I think I'm the first woman that is married to a domestic bot. Oh, yeah. I am going to blow my sword code all over your face. Plus, tossers unite with the technical operating system 3.0. But self-appointed experts like Steve predict millions of Americans will toss off and switch to being a fruit head, which I'd love to see. The fruit operating system is so much classier. Yeah, if you're stupid and you don't know how to mount your motherboard, it's computing for people that don't know a gigabyte from a teraflop. Whether you're a tosser or a fruit, you'll surely want to hear about the new cell phone that lives your life for you and sends you the bill. Plus, we'll review the Freaker video phone and see how well it transmits naked pictures of your aunt and we'll visit a chat room and type with a starving child in Uganda. Hi, I'm Steve. Steve, Unix assassin known as the IP sniffer. Plus, we'll use the word revolutionary a lot and make you feel inadequate for not owning a piece of technology that will be obsolete as the abacus in moments.
in moments, Bill! Sorry, uh, my avatar was in trouble and I can't take him back to therapy. I Italian blood don't mix with no Chapo blood, but it'll mix just fine on the sidewalk. Oh, ah. Life. Let's go to the phones. Emote Carbon. Hey, I'm okay. I'm That's great. The screen savers are amazing. Hey, but Tony. L O L. Look, we all know you spend more time with your computer than girls. So what? Tony. Complicated. Girls like computers should be. Get us out of here. Freeze up all frigid like or crap out on you. You may make fun of us brutes, but we understand each other and have a great time, especially in the ultimate disc in the dark online championship. You know what? Ten print go to hell, okay? Twenty go to ten. LMFAO, not. How 1987 are you, a go-to joke? How basic? Yup, you got me there. What's next? A mud? <laughs> next caller. Hi, I was wondering what you guys thought of that movie, The Mainframe, and the controversy over cyber sex. Save me! Well, first off, if this were I would be typing with one hand. I am HL, the mainframe is the greatest movie of Hell! all time. Of course, so close to reality, especially the robot that never games and now sit on the door and save everyone. I agree. And the rant in the movie about backdoor hacking and the fudge factor, incredible. That was a metaphor from the deep bowels of hell, man. There was a guy last night in the chat room bashing the mainframe, and I... Modern day. 